Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm not going to state my channel name because the fact is it keeps changing. But if you see my last video, obviously you'll know what it used to be. I keep finding out every name that I pick always has other channels that have it. So I apologize. But welcome to Brave Story. Now, I know I'm pretty far inside the game compared to what I should be for starting. But I just felt like playing it and I wanted to record today. So yeah, I just didn't want to have to restart everything. So do forgive me about that. But if we actually go into the game. <coughs> see, I actually have a low level party. Now, once again, sorry if there's Echo Wind inside of here. But yeah, I felt like playing, that's all, and I wanted to record today, so yeah. Now, I won't be recording this very often, possibly. It depends, sorry about that. Evidently, holding L caused it to flash in and out, as you can see. But yeah. To run you up to speed so far, I am a child that has come from the human world in search for magical jewels to be able to enhance my sword to be able to get to this goddess tower to save my friend from some sickness. I don't know what the sickness is. <coughs> and along the way, we uh, I obtained some companions. This lizard-like barbarian, pretty much. <clears throat> and I don't even know when the fuck she is. You know, I don't know, like some cat, rat, human thing, I don't know. But she's really good as a companion, so no complaints. She's more of an archer type, but I did obtain the first gem, so the sword looks a little bit different. I now have certain unique skills, kind of. Bravery. Bravera. Whatever. Yeah. Light Spark. There's also unique skills you obtain by leveling up for multiple companions together. I've been playing for a little bit. <coughs> Sorry. I've been playing for a little bit and with some success, I've been actually going through the game relatively easily. Supposed to be heading towards this ho this hospital to be able to actually finish a exam to be able to become basically kind of like a bounty hunter. So that's to catch you up to speed. But yeah, I had to move the controls for a second, so I apologize. Ultimately, these are the stats with the characters. Yeah. He's a little bit lower level because the fact is he was obtained later in the game. So I was popping. That's my toes. Play the pop. <coughs> yeah, if you see, there's major stat differences. She has higher agility and wisdom, meaning she'll be able to do more when it comes down to the magic system inside this game. It's which is the skills. Which, as you can see, by below the hit points, you can see it's BP. I believe that's like battle power. You use your skills that actually use that up by a certain amount. When I've seen so far, the max has been 10. And as you attack with regular techniques, it actually deals damage or heals you or any part of it, but also. Okay, sorry, I'm back up. Again, sidetrack a little bit. The battle power is used for skills that heal you or deal damage. As you deal damage with the regular attack, it actually gets restored. Sorry. Here we go. You don't obtain money just by actually battling creatures. You have to get the, the body parts, items, and whatever to be able to actually sell them for money. <coughs> and in doing so, I have a good decent amount. Could be better. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Brave Story so far. 
full name based on New Traveler. I don't know if there's actually going to be more inside the series or even if there is. But from my experience so far, it's very enjoyable. Now, as I said, I will be trying to record more, and yeah, it's because I want to. I want to record. <coughs> but hopefully, I actually can get a name that will actually. Well, no one else will have so you know, unique channel name, everything. Try to bring up views, possibly, because that lets me know that. People are watching it, and if people like and comment, that will tell me if you like or dislike them. But, yeah, it was a hospital. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Now, when I first went into into this hospital, I kind of got my butt stomped. I literally just went to one encounter, and I almost lost completely. Hopefully... It'll be better now since I have trained up a bit. But as you can see, the graphics were really good for this game. It's a PSP game. <coughs> for exact statistics on stats, I can't give you that. So, yeah. But from my experience, if you wish to play it, I would highly suggest getting it. But, as you can see, they each need different amounts of experience. My primary character, which one on top, being my name, Merrick, right there. It's generally what I do, so. Needs the, normally the least to get to the next level. But as you see, the lower level you are, the less experience you need. But it normally goes me, the lizard guy, and then, you know, I don't remember his name, sorry. Apologize. There's a little pathways here. I never went in far because I literally got my ass stomped the first time. Yeah, but... They're all crafting inside of here, you can make accessories. Some of them, I don't know what they do. Primarily because you have to craft them first. And then you can actually find out what they do. Yeah, by going to the book or actually look at the accessory itself. Yeah, for details, certain ones give health, strength, wisdom. Let's see which one is this? Yeah, this one actually makes your healing better. This one allows you to absorb enemies HP. Okay, that's fantastic. Max HP increase. Yeah, as you see, literally it depends on ultimately what you're looking at. But because of this, it gives you good customization options. Yeah, so I'll put the leech ring there. That's hopefully to make it so he doesn't actually need- my main character does not need any more hit points to be healed in the future. But, no guarantee. So, I'm a little hurt now, so let's see how this goes. Four! Don't know if it's because of how little it was hurt or just how much it healed. <coughs> but, either which way, I'll take it. Yeah, regen, you know? Regen's always helpful. I wanted to make more of those. Ultimately, you know there actually takes more damage because I have lower defense, but... Hits criticals I found more easily. And because of that, it's been both a blessing and a hindrance. But I hope there's no clicking inside of inside of the audio quality. If there is, I apologize because that's primarily because of well, controller. Once again, I know I say that pretty much on every video, but it's just something there because if anybody doesn't know, switch controllers, they do click every now and then. <coughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Sawgrass. That was his name. Yeah, inside this game is weird. You cannot actually upgrade the your primary primary character's weapon. It's stuck at being what it is. Until you get another gem. Once you get the gem, a new gem, it enables you to be able to <coughs> basically enhance it. Now you see she actually has two skills she can actually use outside of combat that I've unlocked. Treasure sensor and healing. You see the BP amount right, right on the right side. Two for healing, melody, and might as well it's all healed and everything. And treasure sense is one. Treasure sense makes the way you actually can detect how many items you still have inside of an area. <coughs> So it's really good for completionists, which is not a bad thing. What was that exactly? Is it a crafting recipe or? No. Yeah. What was it? Let's see. What does it do? Kill one ally's paralysis. That's pretty good. Now, when it comes down to grinding, I won't actually be recording that because the fact is I wouldn't want to be sitting here myself watching somebody grind for hours. It's just how I am myself and I well if I wouldn't want to see it why would anybody else really want to exactly see me just sit here do nothing but the same thing repetitive over and over. Sorry my controls acting up. Okay let's see good Judgment. Okay, it's actually four per hit. That's pretty good. Maybe I can stack them. Ooh, there'll be four per. Yeah, I know downsides of that. You'll be losing the accessory slots. But it'd be good to have an extra one for one of them to become my the other companions. So, do I have what it takes? Yeah, I can make one more. So, you can actually dismantle items, but I haven't actually went far enough inside the game to need to. But once I do, I will do so to be able to actually get my items back. For anyone who doesn't know, the crafting system inside this game works very simplistic. You gather items, you craft them, but you can also dismantle them to gain the items back. I see they stack. That is good to know. So the more hits I'm able to do, the more hit points I'm able to heal. <coughs> yeah, I've been playing for a good number of hours. I don't know exactly how long I've been playing. And frankly, I don't care how long I've been playing because I really enjoy the game. But so far, it seems like the leech ring, I believe it was called, actually is very useful. <coughs> I see. Anything beyond four is not completely there. Stationary, and it's gonna be just eight. It'd be. It has a chance to give you maximum or more, I believe. I'm just saying. Now. When it comes down to the more recording time. I'm ultimately doing this because I love playing games myself. And figured if I'm gonna play games I really wanna play, I could actually share it with everybody else, so. But, okay, three. It seems to give you a amount, a chance to actually give you a higher amount. It seems to heal little by little. So that's good. I need to be able to make more of those rings. So let's actually give one to you know, and equip the life ring again because the life ring gives you more hit points. <coughs> okay, there's a slot for nothing to equip there, so yeah. And he has nothing.
Okay, everybody has a leech ring. That is good. He's ultimately gonna need the most most heal of the healing ring. He's gonna have the most use for because the fact is the special techniques, special attacks, magical attacks, nothing was not physical, the actual rage actually deal a relatively good amount of damage against them. And this way he possibly can survive a bit longer. Because this is a problem I've been having with him. <coughs> but no matter what, every hit be able to heal about three to four. It's not bad. As you can see, as you get spoiled, you don't actually get any money from actually completing. Like the Gleamstone, they're relatively easy to get a hold of, so as the more you actually obtain, the more you actually, more money you actually gain as well. Each one is like worth 30, so since they're so easy to come by as you've been able to see so far. It's the last battle there, I gained two, right there. <coughs> and because of that, I'm able to actually get a good amount of money that way. Now, you can't upgrade on the mirror for any of the characters, you just, got, you just need to unlock sections of the games that have them. But again, a new technique, let's see. Head start. Show the quick mind of a top studied student grants first attack. Hey, that could be helpful. Yeah, to unlock your techniques, you have to obtain the first gem. Until you do so, you're not going to be able to have special techniques for your main character. But, since I've actually played a bit of the game, you're able to actually see what it is now. Now, you don't need to call this a walkthrough or anything because it's primarily because I want to play it. But, you can call it a walkthrough if you wanted to, to some degree. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Hell, you can call it a potato for all I care. <laughs> as long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. Yeah, I think I've, I'm about the right amount. I'm about the right level for this. <coughs> you know, primarily the healer here, and if she goes, I'm pretty much screwed. Sawgrath can heal, but as you can see, he does not have nearly as much BP as she does. And because of that, I have to leave her be for the leave her as a healer. Now the unity, you can see you have per certain other ones you can actually use. The ones that are the characters that are highlighted are the ones that are actually using the skill. Yeah, this one here uses my character and Sagareth. And this one here uses my character and you know. So yeah. <coughs> now, I've never beaten this because, well, I've actually started playing it recently, like in the past, last week. But in my spare time I've been playing it and actually leveling up a little bit. It takes a bit of time, but no one knew it was Final Fantasy. Now, nothing against Final Fantasy, of course, but... <coughs> cool. We learn a new unity skill, Bug Strike, but as I was saying, Final Fantasy is heavy on grinding. Very heavy. Everyone's been heavy on grinding. The staircase is blocked by a dense tangle of vines. Well, oh, okay. It's okay, cool. Let's go to another floor. Now, I may have to actually grind for this. And if that's a thing that I need to do, okay. That technique ultimately you've seen was just used on Sagrath ultimately stops him from being able to attack for a little while. Okay. Yeah, every time you defeat a creature, you have a chance of being able to do an additional attack, a combo attack, as it is. In doing so, you deal extra damage. Sometimes. <coughs> but sometimes you don't actually deal extra damage as the normal. 
only need to heal. There is food items inside the game, so that is something. We yeah, had said before, if you've noticed, with the BP, it restores over time as you fight enemies. Yeah, the money system is called Tim's. I don't know where that one came from ultimately, but no complaints. It's the story. So, <coughs> I need a drink of water, so don't give me right. Wait, traditional creature? A wasp of sorts? What's up with these things? <coughs> I'm a little confused. Excuse me, sorry, you hear the burp. But. Well. Looks like we're almost in a beehive of sorts. See what's obtained from this chest. Fruit of agility. <coughs> As you can see, there's certain f food items you can actually obtain throughout the game. Like this one here, which will actually permanently increase one stat very slightly. Now, I used one for BP on Sagareth there. One for points on you know and one for strength on my primary character. One of the best options I think would actually be give it to you know. Increase her chance to hit, I believe. Maybe mistaken. Yeah, if you hear anything like this that's because it's still springs here. Yeah, I'm still getting adjusted to things. <coughs> yeah, as you see, it keeps saying that those BP boost 1.21, 1.5. That's basically how much is actually being obtained from attacking. Which is pretty good. Especially since the most I've seen is 10 so far. And the more damage you deal, the more attacks you do, actually makes you restore even more with each hit <coughs> instead of combat, mind you. Later. So I am sorry that these videos here run a little bit long, or they're not recorded as often. But sometimes you just need a break from fantasy. I know with most. A lot of people say, argue about, if you're a true fantasy geek, ultimately you won't ever need a break or anything. That's a lie. Hell, it's like playing Pokemon. You're not going to play Pokemon every single day. You're not going to play Pokemon every time you're going to play a game. There are some limits to things. But... That doesn't mean I'm gonna actually not recording it even more than what I have been because I haven't been recording beforehand. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm not gonna really do be doing voices because I'm not too good with voices, so please bear with me. What did you just say? Are you deaf? I said I'm through taking orders from you. Now I do things my way alone. But why would you change your mind? Because I don't need you anymore. I'm not going to do sound effects either. Sorry. <clears throat> Us minus are equals equals me. Do the subtraction. But your wish, don't you want to see it granted? Look, give it up. I know all about you. 
that will stop banking on me and try your luck with the other one. You do have a backup. How, how did you know? You pretty much just told me. <coughs> See why I don't trust anybody? Too many snakes in the, in the grass. Oh, whoops. Wrong analogy for you, huh? Im impossible. How could a brat like you find out so much? No. Don't tell me you and Av. I, I don't know that one name, okay? Mm, sorry. Enough chatter. Being your errand boy has put me in a rotten mood. Burn. Eek, yeah. Okay. Miss the hag, and yet I see dead people. What's the big idea? Oh, you survived. What do you mean, oh, you could have killed us, you know, you manic. So? So you're the mon monster father Damon warned us about. Monster? Not me, Blizzard. The thing you're looking for is further in. Although, I guess I'm responsible f for running loose. What? You let the monster out? As you can tell, this is actually very text heavy for story. <coughs> yeah, I was just poking around in here for fun. I didn't let the monster out, I just broke the mirror that was holding it in. Same difference. You've got some explaining to do. Merrick, you know? Draw your weapons. What? You want to burn to a crisp and I have a name. Rai? Re? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the twin blade thing. I see. So you're the one. Fair enough. I'll let you go. But by the way, Runt, if you're after that monster, it's just ahead. So you hear him popping fingers, so yeah. <laughs> hope those guys Hope those guys it's tearing apart weren't friends of yours. <coughs> what kite? I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name, so I apologize. And his men. Harry Merrick. Just you wait, punk. I never f forget a face. I can say his hair looks very weird from the back. Next time you see mine, I'll be the la. Mine. Next time you see mine, will be the last, and you'll only have destiny to blame for it. As for you, you'll see if the voice below calls to you the way it did to me. Okay, so. I'm guessing ultimately there's a monster in here I'm gonna have to worry about. It's never good about this. Anytime you're given save points or points where you can heal, that normally means there's something far, not too far ahead. Well, <coughs> wish me luck.
seem to be doing better this time than the last time when I went in here, so that's good. Hopefully it's nothing too big, or I'm screwed. The last boss I faced, ultimately I, you know, wasn't able to be in the fight. Story reasons, whatever. She pushed this kid out of the way, this giant crab-like monster, and fainted. Yeah. Video game logic, pretty much. Sharpened horn, okay. Okay, it's not inside of here. Okay, where is it? Okay, evidently I've had a couple of them. Didn't realize that until now. Okay. So it's a craftable item. So it's a crafting item. Item used for crafting. What in the hell is that? Like a Hydra? Wavern? What in the fuck? It has five heads, so I'd have to assume it's like a Hydra. But it has wings, so I'd have to assume it's like a Wavern. What in the hell is this thing? Okay, this is awful. I think we found our monster. It, no shit, this thing's a monstrosity looking thing. What's, what's cool though? Luckily if I die, I saved. Fuck a breathe fire. Pyrohydra. <laughs> I know I'm a geek, so whatever. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a new unity skill obtained. Let's see. Bug strike. A waterkin skill that damages all foes. Get on bugs. Okay. I guess time to pull out all the stops. Now you see there's other skills here besides the ones that you've seen beforehand. Poison arrow, sniper's eye, and electrifying smile. Like this, basically she, you know, smiles at them and they take damage. Sniper's eye makes you guaranteed to hit a critical hit, while poison arrow makes you deal damage, additional damage over time. So I'm gonna go with sniper's eye to get a confirmed crit. And as you can see, Cleave split from Sigurdoth takes 10 BP. And technically, I can use it three times. Ultimately, it's guaranteed crit as well. Yeah. So, we may die. We may die. Ouch. 24. Yeah, Sigurdoth deals the most damage out of everybody inside the group. But that does not mean he's gonna be able to survive the longest. Because he's also tanky, but he's been hit a lot more than what I would like. So, let's continue. Really, what is this thing? I know you can answer here, but. Yeah, I know it has the name there, but I don't even know what the fuck it's based off of at this point. Let's try this. Bug Strike. See if it's actually gonna do anything good. Three chance of steel. See. Burst of poison bag. Yeah, damage all foes. I'm ultimately trying to actually do something <coughs> here to actually help with them. God damn it, fuck you. You can... Huh? Well, now, he, now he's poisoned. That's a decent amount of damage, actually. Okay, it almost looked like he was trying to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> so, yeah. And I need to be healed. No, heal, yes. <coughs> he 
we should be doing Vols are decent. I know primary character is almost out of BP. Shit. Yeah, I can't afford another one, really. Time to actually just do head-on attacks, I guess. I feel this was actually inspired roughly off of Final Fantasy, because the way, the feel of it, the style of it is. But just because it was inspired does not mean it exactly based off of. Okay, he seems to be almost dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I think we can survive one more. And then that's it. As I said, one more. Okay, we barely won. Okay. Sweet. 14th level. An eerie laugh echoes from the shattered mirror. Ah, another one. Not that it matters. Like I said, I'm not gonna do sound effects. He's dead. Okay, so he's dead. Man, House Chief. I, I, like I said, I don't know. I'm not meaning to be offensive or anything, but I really just don't know how to pronounce his name. I told you your exam was on hold, stubborn fool. He He's alive? Thank the goddess he's alive. <coughs> not for long, I fear. But, no, no. Chief Kite or whatever. Yeah, literally, whatever. You promised you'd test us. You can't die now. Anyone who can defeat a beast like that needs no further test. Save your strength. Listen closely. The words. They are brief. But only the strength, too. Say them once. Merrick, to thee, I bestow the mark... Of a novice Highlander. For the sake of peace and vision, do ye and your companions swear to always do what is right th through joy and sorrow. No, if I want to be a dick, I could get him to repeat the question. Whatever, I swear. Listen, you are now proud high, Landers, friends. Melid. Melody, Melody, yeah. Melody waits. Vahadina. Go to her. I believe that's how you pronounce her name, at least. A name. Wait a minute, I get my second jewel. You obtained fireworm rings. You are now free to cross national borders. Awesome. Now, sorry, no. So, now she's upset. Proud warrior, rest in peace. Chief Kite, now, could this, how could this happen? Forgive us. We were inches away, and all we could do was watch, helpless, helplessly, as we passed. And the beast is responsible? Dead. The hospital is safe now, but we'll, but we'll... There was this boy. 
I see. So, I see. So you say this stranger commanded magic. I wonder how it was. Well, endless griefing serves little purpose. So why not do as Chief Kite would have wished and f focus on reorganizing the branch? You're quite, you're quite right. <coughs> as for you, our newly appointed Highlanders, hurry on to Vahantina. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how to pronounce that name exactly. I know I'm not the best when it comes down to pronouncing names because I'm not too good with names. But I try, ultimately. Chief Milady has been awaiting help for so for some time. I shall gather my faithful at the hospital and pray for Chief Kite's soul. I assure you it will be a service to remember. Well, no offense, I'm not sad he's dead. He was kind of a dick. So he's dead, woohoo. Yeah, it's like this. Them saying they need to have help. Help ultimately to protect the land and everything's understaffed. And age and sex is not a limitation. And yet he's the one being sexist and judging of age. I'm pretty sure at this point he could be like a thousand years old and it wouldn't fucking matter with him. So that's pretty much the deal there. So this is what travelers go through. You're surprised? I I might have had the wrong idea. I thought all the sights and experiences of travels would change me somehow. That I'd have the time of my life. I thought. But it's not all fun and games, is it? <coughs> nope. I'm sorry, by the way, there's actually some distorting on some of the textures. By running it through this emulator, I've been able to enhance certain graphics, but the fact is, there's a certain downsides, some of them don't actually register as well, so I apologize. <coughs> So, you gonna quit? Traveling, I mean. Not a chance. Then you may as well smile. Remember what the Elder said. You gotta be carefree. Oh, let me pop my fingers. Beginning stage of the carpal tunnel. So sorry. Much better, okay. You're right. No sulking. Otherwise, Merrick might start moping too. Come on, Lancer Champion. Com Lancer Company, you know. Little mouthful. Move out. Next stop, Van Handina. Chapter 5 The False Highlanders Okay, so We've seen this dick die Which is both good And bad, possibly Yeah, I'm not finding exactly if it's in there I want to see what this rain does Supposedly Okay, so it just actually gives you access to being a Highlander then. Yep, 
So, I want to save. Well, so, guy's dead. Yes, 15 Tims. Rest. Yes. Okay. Reading through, it never told me where in the hell it will, next location is. They stated what the location was, but not where. I'm guessing you'd have to do more to the east, since that's primarily what's been taking me so far with the game. Sorry, west. Get mixed up in my head. But yeah. Okay. Let's see how much money I can get from this. Okay, I have a hundred of them. What was that, thirteen? Okay, not Gleamstone. I was thinking of Glistening Stone. I mean, as you see, excuse me, there were 30 each, I have 35. They're not really useful much else besides selling. Okay, a sparkling stone sold for a high price. Well, I'll sell them because I could use cash. That's just primarily because of the fact there's no telling how much money in next upgrades will be, if I can even get them. I, okay, I didn't mean to go back inside. Well, so, I have no idea where I'm going to go now. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Okay, so, absolutely nothing. So, I have nothing that I can actually buy. Good to know. But can I possibly like take jobs? If so, that'd be really good. Let's uh, see, so yeah, you're talking about how he's gone. Okay, so can't exactly go get bounties because you gotta be full fledged. I'm a novice. Whatever, whatever. <coughs> Let's see. What is this next location? There has to be some place around here. Well. I guess I'll travel this way because I have the health family. See. Okay, so monsters. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We've gotten to chapter five. Yeah, you see, I'm relatively overtrained for these creatures. But just because I'm overtrained for these ones does not mean much of anything because they can still try to stop my ass if I'm not careful. But literally, where in the fuck do I need to go next? I know now I can cross borders. But. Okay, are those locations that you just seen pop up, that's where you can basically, it's like, it's, it's kind of like Pokemon of sorts. Except birds. You capture a bunch of birds and they fuse together into one super bird that you can either sell or fight to the death. Yeah, it's similar to like dog fights or similar to Pokemon like that. But I'm not seeing the next town. Dare you. Okay. Huh. This is how decent damage. Also what I'm seeing from the last time I actually got a gem. It's like this. 
you hit a point where you're not dealing nearly enough damage to be able to actually keep up, and then that's when you actually get an upgrade. Which is perfectly fine by me, because that means I don't have to pay gold for upgrades. At least for the sword. Okay, so I'm going like the completely wrong direction. Could be worse. I imagine we're gonna stop this here soon. As enjoyable as it is, don't want the episode to go on too long. So, let's see, there's a sign. I'll continue going down here. Okay. I suspect the town's to the south. That's why I'm going to the south. But if not, well, whatever. It's more experience, more items. No, whatever. Normally, when you follow a path like this, you see the little darker area here. That's actually normally a pathway leading to towns or dungeons sometimes. And because of that, I'm gonna follow because I have no fucking idea where to go. Unless I just missed it inside the text and didn't realize it. If so, fuck me, because the fact is, it would have been right there playing his day. Okay, border. What's this way? Okay, um, kind of like armadillos. These fuckers are dangerous. Dangerous as fuck. As long as they all wait and see, it doesn't matter too much. <coughs> so I'm going to escape because I'm nowhere near powerful enough to stomp these guys' ass. So, okay, this place, oh, that's the place we were at beforehand. You. I don't know if we just escape so I can actually try to get back to the border as soon as possible because it's going to be running on a little late, longer than what most, I believe, will. Okay, so we've made it to the border. Rumors has it. A du duo of bandits is on the loose. Stay on guard. Thanks for information. If I see them, either run away or kill them. But with this, I, I'm sad to say I'm going to end the video here. I'm really enjoying this game. And I will be playing more of it. Well, I'll be recording it, I should say more. <coughs> well, just like usual, like, comment, subscribe. If there's any game you would like to see me play, comment down below. And hope you have a nice day.